Well, today we got a quick review video of the new Delta figure. Uh, this is coming in a way with the Pyroraptor, which will be also coming up on the channel shortly, as soon as I actually get it in the mail. I have it ordered, just hasn't arrived yet. Um, Delta is, of course, a repaint of the remodel of the original Raptor. Uh, so I assume it's going to be one-to-one -one with Blue in terms of sculpt. Um, and just the paint job will be different, but I don't know for sure. Uh, so, here we have it. Velociraptor Delta. You can see on the back, comes alongside the Pyroraptor and Claire in the small wave that's connected to the Giga and the Theory. Um, yeah, I mean, Delta's, Delta's fine. I like... Uh, I think my favorite raptor is Charlie overall. But yeah, stand, standard, you know, they have a small hammond collection figure. Boomed in plastic, tail separate, yada yada. I assume we'll be getting the full raptor squad um, kind of staggered in releases like this. Just a matter of time, I guess. Oh, interesting. Okay, so one thing immediately off the bat, uh, it has unique hands. Which is shocking. So if we look at blue, blue has this, uh, this bunny hand thing going on here. Delta's got, uh, forward-facing grippers. <laughs> Uh, interestingly, that gives Delta more accurate hands than Blue in terms of, like, real life, right? This is a much more realistic hand position for a, uh, Dromaeosaur. Huh. I did not expect there to be any sculpting differences. That's really cool. I, I, it's really nice to see. We've got, uh, fully painted claws on the hands, on the feet. No dew claw paint, of course, but for a small figure, that's to be expected. Just inspecting the figure for uh, any weird quirks or damages. There's um weird little flash marks on the elbows. I don't know if you can see that. You see that little smudge, that little lighter part there? That's where the uh, the molding was done. And um, if we look at this arm, can I get this to focus? Maybe. This is a nightmare. Well, on this arm, the flashpoint actually kind of damages the arm. I don't think it's going to show up on video. But there's a little, like, rip. Um where the elbow joint comes in. And uh, meets the the flash there on the arm. Uh, I don't really see an equivalent flash mark on Blue's figure. So that's just something weird about the way the arms are molded on Delta. Oh god, <laughs> update. The uh, the elbow joints themselves on Delta are very weird. Because it's got this rotation, right? But the way the arm is sculpted, it really doesn't lend itself to rotating. And on Blue, like the, the rotation is a little weird still too. But it's not so unnatural that you can't like move the arms, right? This still looks pretty good with the arms facing inward. Versus like bending them outward. But you do anything like that with Delta and you get this really weird like arm crossover very strange in fact the elbow joints in general feel really weak and flimsy like when i move its arms around i really do feel like i'm gonna just rip delta's arms off uh which is not great yeah it's really weird i don't know why they feel so weak um but they do it's also a little weird that like the one hand is a little more flatter than the other 
um, in terms of like where the elbow joints are. Like you can rotate it and it looks fine. Like you can make it match, right? So it's got like that clapping look, but the elbow joint in there ends up being twisted. So the arm is actually pivoting outward to make the hand have that like up and down profile, which is very weird. Very, very strange. Uh, the articulation for everything else is pretty much the same as what you've seen on blue. You got the, uh, you know, the knee, you don't get a proper ankle on the small figures here, but the foot swivels around and can move. So you get that. No articulation on the toe claw. So yeah. Three joints in the leg, two joints in the arm. And then you got the arm style hinged neck that we've had for the Raptors since the JP3 ones came out, which lends some better posability, but does have this weird, uh, like sock puppet feel almost to it sometimes. Yeah, can be a little strange. Neck is probably identical to blues. We can uh, try and evaluate if the head sculpt is the same or not. I don't... I, I think it's different. I think that little bump on the nose is bigger on Delta. Yeah, I think if you get like this like tilted profile, you can kind of see that. This is so hard to show. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Delta's head looks a little boxier too. Is it shorter maybe? Maybe a smidge? It might be a smidge shorter. It's really hard to tell. I don't think so. I think it's just a little thicker at the nose. So I think it is a unique head sculpt, marginally so. Unique hands, unique head. In terms of paint job, we got a pretty nice like green here. I like this. The coloring. I'll have to see if I can get this thing to stand in any decent fashion, which is kind of a problem with these these raptors. The way the ankle joint is set up here and not having a hinge, the, the leg really wants to be back, and then that makes them very front heavy because they don't have quite enough tail to like counterbalance them properly. It's a little weird just a smidge like the best way i found to kind of get them to balance is where you put the foot like not completely even so it kind of leans forward onto the front foot and the back one raises a little bit and then it can all the weight is on like the one foot but it'll at least like stand like that on a, at least on a flat surface i think my blue is yeah blue is balanced the same way so yeah, I think the leg articulation on the new Raptor is a little poor. It could be done better in a way that makes it stand a little better. Of course, we got a wire in the tail. Really only allows you to style the middle. Like this tip down here is like always curved on the Raptors um, because of the way the tails are stored. Interestingly, uh, at least the shape of the tip of the tail, the way it's bent, is different on the two. So at least they don't look like they're duplicates of each other. I'm going to I'm gonna mark that down to just a quirk of packaging and not an intentional design choice. But if they did deliberately package it so the tail bends a little bit differently, I appreciate that thought to try and make it look a little, um, a little different than the other one. We got uh, an eye, glass eye, like all of them, of course. I think the eye is much better looking than blues. 
It's really hard to get a good look at it. That's why I got my phone out here. But, uh, yeah, Blue's eyes are, like, very orange, right? I don't know if that's coming through on the video much. What if I do a backlight? Oh, God, that's that's a nightmare. <laughs> Let's not do that. Um, Delta's eyes are a little more yellow. Let's see if we can... What if I do... Can I... That, that's a reflection. That's bad. What if I do that? Will that make it visible <laughs> i'm trying i'm trying my best yeah there i think you can get a good sense so the eye stands out a bit more um which is good the eye sculpting is kind of weird yeah actually that's the dead giveaway that these heads are different blue's eyes are very round and then Delta's eyes are a little more narrowed. This one, the one side especially, this one looks like it's kind of making a face, like like a, like a skeptical face, um, which gives it, I think, a little more character. I'm genuinely surprised to see sculpting differences on this. I would not have guessed that they would have bothered. Uh, the torso, I think, is identical on the two. At least it looks identical to me. Same with like the shit, the legs. I think they're identical. So it's got the same problem a little bit that maybe it's a little wide in the hip, but I don't think it's that bad on these. Um, seems all right. We can talk a little bit about accuracy. And this is Delta, of course. And so is this. Uh, some people say Delta has a dot pupil in some scenes. I've never noticed that. I didn't find any pictures that show that either. Um, so the eye looks good to me. It looks like you get the elongated pupil, which is accurate for what you see in the film. In terms of coloring, in the film, Delta really is pretty bland. They've really emphasized the striping on the figure, uh, giving it this darker striping across the body, which... I think it's good to make it look like something, but I don't think it's necessarily accurate. There's like striping on the leg for sure, right? You can see it there in this picture. And in this one, you can see it kind of again there. But the way it's like, it's like aquamarine striping on a green body. It's like really subtly blended. Um, and this is just dark green verging on like gray or black striping on a green body. So it doesn't really capture that. I don't think I have any other comments to make on accuracy beyond that. I don't think there's much to be said, really, honestly. Uh, the teeth are technically inaccurate. We can, we can gripe about that for a second. Um, the teeth in the Jurassic World Raptors goes back under the eye socket. Here it doesn't, but that's good because it's stupid that the Raptors have so many teeth in the films it's very inaccurate in jurassic world films the teeth are accurate in the classic films and then they just ran the teeth all the way to the back of the mouth here underneath the eye without paying any fucking attention to dinosaur anatomy in the movie so this is this is going to be one of those one of those things where i'm glad it's not accurate i i'm to, to me when i look at any rendition of a Jurassic Park or world dinosaur, I'm not concerned with it being perfectly accurate because they change. The CGI models are always different, sometimes substantially when compared to the animatronics. They're different from movie to movie. It's all interpretation, right? Every movie, things look a little different. And that's because they're fucking movies, right? So I would rather have changes the design to make it better over having it be more accurate because accuracy is is not a thing in a movie right it'd be nice if there was perfect continuity there just isn't so stop worrying about the finer details right if you go to like jw2 mod pages you find mods for the like a ton of mods for the tyrannosaurus where people mod it to be like the animatronic or mod it to be like the cg model and like the reason that's done is because people want a more accurate Rex, but there is no more accurate Rex because it's inconsistent in its appearance. 
Anyway, that's enough talking about that. Let's rank this. This is better than blue. Um, is it much better than blue? No. I think it just goes literally right ahead of blue. If... So my, my thought, right? Based on this figure, my expectation now for the rest of the Raptor squad is they'll all have subtle differences in uh like their their designs maybe the head sculpt will have subtle differences and it, probably the hands will be in different positions because they've established that now so if that follows that the level of quality is consistent subtle differences in the designs i imagine for me i'll probably put charlie first because i like charlie's more distinctive black and green striped coloring better than the rest of the raptor squad um but we'll see for the delta versus blue i think the deciding factor is twofold i think i like delta's hands more because blue has the the very retro bunny hands delta has the hands more in an actual raptor uh prey grabbing position uh, and I think the bigger complaint with blue is the hip striping. The hip striping on blue is very poorly positioned because it's on the rotational part of the leg, which means if you move the leg, you break up the stripe. And that really ruins the aesthetic of the figure. Delta doesn't have that because the stripes are discreet, and that's what saves Delta more than anything. It puts it ahead of blue. But I can't put it that much more ahead of blue because it's still fundamentally the same sculpt. It's uh, aesthetics wise, the paint job is not that interesting. Uh, in terms of uh, posability, the legs really limit what you can do with it because they don't have that ankle joint. Like, it's not an amazing figure. So, definitely the best Raptor we've had in the line. Uh, but, like, that is such a low bar to clear that I can't give it any points for that. So yeah, next time we have Pyroraptor, which I guess could be, we could we could end up with Pyroraptor being the best raptor in the line, I guess. I mean, when I say raptor, I usually mean Velociraptor explicitly, but uh, we'll see.